The skies just north of Albuquerque looked a little bit like the skies over Afghanistan and Iraq this morning. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, very much like the ones the military uses over there, were patrolling over the Bosque and beaming back live surveillance images. It was all part of a big national UAV convention organized by New Mexico State University. Here's News 13 pilot reporter Bob Martin. Never before had there been an unmanned aerial vehicle air show quite like this in open American airspace. Hundreds of UAV industry experts watched as four different aerial robots sailed over the valley at the Tamaya Resort. These airborne surveillance machines use ultra-quiet electric motors to aid in their stealth, and they beam down live video. This particular one is a weight of only two pounds, uh, meaning it's really one of the smallest uh, there are. This particular system is powered by a battery. Uh, it stays airborne for about 30 minutes. Previously relegated to the military, UAVs are now being marketed to law enforcement, fire and rescue, and other agencies. Some use wings, some hover like helicopters. All are packed with computers and GPS navigation to make them simple to fly. Most uh, folks who have experience with uh, video games these days have no issue picking up uh, the, um, the operation of these. Before they can freely fly alongside private and commercial aircraft, one big issue, avoiding collisions. You need some sort of system to look for those other other things that might be in the air or, or uh, you know, tall buildings or whatever and make sure you don't run into them. Conference host New Mexico State University is home to the country's only dedicated UAV test airspace and a UAV lab that will soon help test the world's largest robotic flyer with a wingspan of about 400 feet. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13. That UAV conference runs through tomorrow, and it includes classified sessions that only people with security clearances can attend.